driving through a destroyed wasteland that until recently was one of the main battlegrounds in Syria. Aleppo's Hanano district was in rebel hands until last week when government forces moved in with crushing firepower. 13-year-old Uday shows me where a rocket landed next to his house and describes the fear he felt as the battle raged. We were very, very frightened, Uday says. Normally we would hide in the basement, but luckily that night we slept on the first floor because that's when two rockets hit right over here. Uday's little brother, Abdul Karim, is clearly traumatized by the horrors he's witnessed and still weak from living under siege for weeks with almost no food and water available much of the time. As the rebels lost their grip on this place, many residents fled, trying to escape with their lives and not much more. Now they're coming back. Some haven't seen their houses for years. Khaled Chobello left in 2012 when the rebels took this district. Now he's trying to salvage any belongings in what's left of his apartment. I am very sad because everything is either destroyed or ransacked, he says. We found these pictures under the rubble. Even the walls are destroyed, but we will come back here and rebuild. The battle for Aleppo is far from over, but Syrian government forces clearly have the upper hand taking about half the rebels' territory in the past week alone and continuing to push their offensive with massive firepower. Like in so many districts that have been taken back by the Syrian military, there is massive destruction in this part of eastern Aleppo. But there's no denying the shift in momentum in favor of the Syrian military and also the boost in morale that many of their soldiers have gotten. Troops loyal to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad tell us they believe they could capture all of Aleppo, Syria's most important battleground, very soon. The rebel headquarters was right here, he says, so the loss of this district was a big blow to them. You can see how our shelling is pounding them, and that shows that their morale is collapsing. Rebels left behind a makeshift cannon when they fled here last week. So far, the opposition hasn't found a way to shore up their defenses in the face of this massive and possibly decisive Syrian government offensive. For Plaikin, CNN, Aleppo.